Hello and welcome to ComScience Simplified. In today's video, we look into another important interview question which talks about an important keyword in JavaScript. This. If you have ever attended a JavaScript interview before, you have most likely been asked this question. The reason why this question is so common is that there is no one right answer for it. The kind of value the keyword takes depends on the context in which it is used. It also depends on whether strict mode is enabled or not. Let's check out those different scenarios in this video assuming the strict mode is disabled. Let us see how this keyword behaves in the global context. In the global context, or inside of a function placed directly in the global context, the this keyword points to the global or the window object. Like in this case, the console would log the global object in Node.js and the window object in the browser. Things change slightly when we introduce explicit binding into the scene. Revising what we learned in the last scenario. If we create a variable called scope in the global context and then try to access the value of this dot scope inside of a function placed in the global scope, we will get the value of that variable printed. But, JavaScript provides us with certain binding mechanisms like call, bind and apply using which we can change the this binding of a function. In this edited example, if we create an object with a scope variable inside of it, we can force the test function to be executed with the object to be its this binding by using the call method as follows. When we do that, the value of the scope key on the object is printed instead of the value of the scope in the global context. Let us now take a look at how the calling site or the object on which the method is called influences the value of the this keyword. Inside any object method, the this keyword points to that particular object. But, any function that is defined inside of an object method, has its this binding with the window object. I know it is weird but I do not make the rules. I just share them with you. Smash that like button if you learned something new today. The new keyword also modifies the value of this keyword inside of a function. Placing the new keyword in front of a function, which implies using the function as a constructor, also changes the behavior of the this keyword inside of that function. This initially points to a new object that is created on the function invocation. All the properties are set on that object. And this is the object that is returned when the function completes its execution even if nothing is explicitly returned from the function. The class keyword behaves in a way that is a mix of a few of the cases that we looked at earlier. Inside of the constructor, the this keyword points to the new object on which the non-static properties are added. And inside of the methods of the class, it points to the instance on which the method is invoked. For example, here we see that the name property is set on the new object that gets created when the constructor is invoked. And when we call the say hi function on it, it is printed back due to the value of the this keyword being set to the newly instantiated person object inside of the method due to a rule that we discussed earlier. And of course, no discussion about the this keyword is complete without talking about its behavior in the context of an arrow function. The deal with arrow functions is straightforward. It just retains the this value of the surrounding lexical scope in which it is placed. So whatever the value of the this property outside the function, the same is retained inside of the arrow function as well. This is what makes it an ideal candidate when defining functions inside of object methods. If we take the earlier example and tweak it so that the inner function is defined as an arrow function, we can see that the this keyword inside of that function still points to the person object. This is because the value of this from the lexical scope of the test function is retained inside of the function as well. Those are just a few scenarios where we can see a change in the way the keyword behaves. Let me know in the comments if I missed an interesting scenario and we can discuss that one. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.